Here at Concordia, what I've done is uh, work with U12s in maths applications. It's a U12 course that uh, enables them to get an ATAR in a university. And what I've tried to do is design a course where kids can work at their own pace, can work in their preferred mode of learning, um, and still meet all the rigours of a Year 12 course. So I've created uh, a number of podcasts or screencasts that cover the entire course, and it's all linked together via a website so the kids can access it from anywhere, anytime. If you critically look at the, the topic that I'm covering, I've found that that doesn't necessarily have to be linear. You can actually grab bits and pieces and pop them together. So I've set parcels of work up so the kids can grab whichever parcel they need to get them through the next hurdle. When something is explained in class by the teacher, if you um, go home and maybe forget what they've said, there's always a screencast there which you can refer to. Because I can just hop onto YouTube and just watch um, Mr Francis go through it again. What you're trying to do is find your payment, which is F4. And so we have a payment of 2000 $955. I can pause it and I can read through the example again if I need to. So it's quite, yeah, beneficial for my style of learning. So if kids want to work by themselves, they can. If they want to work in small groups, they can. If they want to work um, as, a, as a traditional classroom with me doing some stuff on the whiteboard, away they go, they can do that as well. Um, I think one of the keys is to have um, what I call gateways. And gateways are just um, little tasks that I can do to check that they're online. And they're my quizzes. And my quizzes are all linked to the curriculum statement, so I know exactly where they're at. And then from there, they're linked to a, a map of uh, learning outcomes. So I can pick any kid at any time and know exactly where they're at and what they've done and what they haven't done. So then um, I've got a, a good handle of where they're tracking and whether they've missed something and then I can kind of prod them in that area. You want to be able to stretch the kids in the class that need to be stretched and you want to reinforce the kids that are struggling. And in this kind of environment, it seems to work flawlessly.